Lucy and Max were thrilled about their journey to Japan. Were Lucy and Max thrilled about their journey to Japan? Yes, they were thrilled. Were Lucy and Max thrilled or disappointed about their journey to Japan? They were thrilled. Who were thrilled about their journey? Lucy and Max were thrilled. What were Lucy and Max thrilled about? They were thrilled about their journey to Japan. Where were Lucy and Max planning to travel? They were planning to travel to Japan. They were eager to immerse themselves in a new culture, taste different foods, and create unforgettable memories. Were Lucy and Max eager to immerse themselves in a new culture and try different foods? Yes, they were eager. Were Lucy and Max eager or reluctant to immerse themselves in a new culture? They were eager. What were Lucy and Max eager to do? They were eager to immerse themselves in a new culture, taste different foods, and create unforgettable memories. Why were Lucy and Max eager to travel to Japan? To immerse themselves in a new culture, taste different foods, and create unforgettable memories. What kind of memories did Lucy and Max want to create? Unforgettable memories. Their adventure began the moment they landed in Tokyo. Did Lucy and Max's adventure begin when they landed in Tokyo? Yes, it began when they landed. Did their adventure begin before or after they landed in Tokyo? After they landed in Tokyo. When did Lucy and Max's adventure begin? The moment they landed in Tokyo. Where did their adventure begin? In Tokyo. What started when Lucy and Max landed in Tokyo? Their adventure began. Their first challenge was navigating the airport. Was navigating the airport Lucy and Max's first challenge? Yes, it was their first challenge. Was their first challenge navigating the airport or finding a hotel? Navigating the airport. What was Lucy and Max's first challenge? Navigating the airport. Where did Lucy and Max face their first challenge? At the airport. What did Lucy and Max have to navigate first? The airport. Looking for toilets, they found signs in Japanese quite puzzling. Did Lucy and Max find the signs in Japanese easy to understand while looking for toilets? No, they found them quite puzzling. While looking for toilets, did Lucy and Max find the signs in Japanese puzzling or clear? Puzzling. What did Lucy and Max find puzzling when looking for toilets? The signs in Japanese. Why did Lucy and Max find the signs puzzling? Because they were in Japanese. What were Lucy and Max looking for when they found the signs puzzling? Toilets. With a mix of hand gestures and smiles, they finally located them, learning their first lesson in cultural differences. Did Lucy and Max use hand gestures and smiles to find what they were looking for? Yes, they used hand gestures and smiles. Did Lucy and Max find what they were looking for with hand gestures and smiles or by asking in Japanese? With hand gestures and smiles. How did Lucy and Max finally locate what they were looking for? With a mix of hand gestures and smiles. What did Lucy and Max learn when they used hand gestures and smiles? Their first lesson in cultural differences. What method helped Lucy and Max to locate what they were looking for? A mix of hand gestures and smiles. Reaching their hotel was their next adventure. Was reaching their hotel Lucy and Max's next adventure? Yes, it was their next adventure. Was their next adventure reaching their hotel or visiting a temple? Reaching their hotel. What was Lucy and Max's next adventure after the airport? Reaching their hotel. What did Lucy and Max do after navigating the airport? They tried to reach their hotel. Why was reaching their hotel an adventure for Lucy and Max? 
It was a new and challenging experience. The bustling city streets of Tokyo were a stark contrast to New York. Were the city streets of Tokyo very different from those in New York? Yes, they were a stark contrast. Were the streets of Tokyo similar to or different from those in New York? Different from those in New York. What kind of contrast did Tokyo's streets present compared to New York? A stark contrast. How would you describe the city streets of Tokyo compared to New York? Bustling and very different. In what way were the streets of Tokyo and New York different? Tokyo's streets were bustling and contrasted starkly with New York's. Language barriers made asking for directions tricky. Did language barriers make it easy or tricky for Lucy and Max to ask for directions? Tricky. What made asking for directions difficult for Lucy and Max? Language barriers. Why was it tricky for Lucy and Max to ask for directions? Because of language barriers. What was the effect of language barriers on Lucy and Max? It made asking for directions tricky. In what aspect did language barriers pose a challenge for Lucy and Max? In asking for directions. Despite Max's few Japanese phrases, they ended up boarding the wrong train. Did Max know many Japanese phrases? No, he knew only a few. Did Max's knowledge of Japanese phrases prevent them from making a mistake? No, they still boarded the wrong train. What happened even though Max knew a few Japanese phrases? They ended up boarding the wrong train. Why did Lucy and Max board the wrong train despite Max knowing some Japanese? Because knowing a few phrases wasn't enough to prevent the mistake. What was the result of Max's limited knowledge of Japanese? They boarded the wrong train. This detour, however, led them through vibrant neighborhoods they wouldn't have otherwise discovered, showing them the unexpected beauty of getting lost. Did the detour lead Lucy and Max to places they would have found otherwise? No, it led them to places they wouldn't have otherwise discovered. Was the detour a negative or positive experience for Lucy and Max? It was a positive experience, showing them the unexpected beauty of getting lost. What did the detour show Lucy and Max? The unexpected beauty of getting lost. Where did the detour take Lucy and Max? Through vibrant neighborhoods. Why was getting lost a good thing for Lucy and Max? Because it led them to discover vibrant neighborhoods they wouldn't have otherwise seen. Their hotel room, though small, was a cozy retreat. Was their hotel room large? No, it was small. Was the small size of the hotel room a problem for Lucy and Max? No, it was a cozy retreat despite being small. How did Lucy and Max feel about their small hotel room? They found it to be a cozy retreat. What was the size of Lucy and Max's hotel room? It was small. What kind of place was their hotel room for Lucy and Max? A cozy retreat. It was a stark reminder of how different and diverse places could be. Did the hotel room remind Lucy and Max of the diversity of places? Yes, it was a stark reminder of how different and diverse places could be. Was the hotel room a reminder of similarity or diversity? Diversity. What did the hotel room remind Lucy and Max about? How different and diverse places could be. Why was the hotel room a stark reminder for Lucy and Max? Because it showed how different and diverse places could be. What aspect of the hotel room was a reminder to Lucy and Max? Its difference and diversity compared to what they were used to. They laughed at the novelty, embracing the change as part of the travel experience. Did Lucy and Max laugh at the novelty of their hotel room? Yes, they laughed at the novelty. What was Lucy and Max's reaction to the novelty of their hotel room? 
they laughed and embraced it as part of their experience. Did Lucy and Max embrace the change in their hotel room? Yes, they embraced the change. Why did Lucy and Max laugh at their hotel room? Because of its novelty. How did Lucy and Max view the change in their hotel room? As a part of the travel experience to be embraced. Dining out introduced them to the culinary wonders of Japan. Did dining out expose Lucy and Max to the culinary wonders of Japan? Yes, it introduced them to the culinary wonders. What did dining out do for Lucy and Max? It introduced them to the culinary wonders of Japan. Why was dining out important for Lucy and Max? Because it introduced them to Japan's culinary wonders. What aspect of Japan did Lucy and Max experience through dining out? The culinary wonders. How did Lucy and Max get introduced to Japanese cuisine? By dining out. With a menu full of unfamiliar words, they pointed at pictures to order. Did Lucy and Max understand all the words on the menu? No, the menu was full of unfamiliar words. How did Lucy and Max order their food? They pointed at pictures to order. What was the reason Lucy and Max had to point at pictures to order? Because the menu had unfamiliar words. What was the menu full of? Unfamiliar words. What method did Lucy and Max use to order due to the language barrier? Pointing at pictures. This method led to some surprises, like Max accidentally eating a very spicy dish, causing a burst of laughter between them. Did Lucy and Max encounter any surprises when they ordered food by pointing at pictures? Yes, this method led to some surprises. What was one of the surprises that happened because of their method of ordering? Max accidentally ate a very spicy dish. How did Max react to eating a very spicy dish? It caused a burst of laughter between them. What caused a burst of laughter between Lucy and Max? Max accidentally eating a very spicy dish. Why did pointing at pictures on the menu lead to surprises for Lucy and Max? Because they weren't sure what they were ordering, leading to unexpected dishes like the very spicy one Max ate. Eager to see the countryside, they rented a car to visit Mount Fuji. Were Lucy and Max eager to see the countryside? Yes, they were eager. Did Lucy and Max rent a car to visit Mount Fuji? Yes, they rented a car. What was the reason for renting a car? To visit Mount Fuji and see the countryside. Where did Lucy and Max decide to go with the rented car? To Mount Fuji. Why were Lucy and Max eager to rent a car? To see the countryside and visit Mount Fuji. Adapting to driving on the left side of the road with the steering wheel on the opposite side was a challenge. Was adapting to driving on the left side of the road easy for Lucy and Max? No, it was a challenge. What was challenging about driving for Lucy and Max? Adapting to driving on the left side of the road with the steering wheel on the opposite side. Which side of the road did Lucy and Max have to adapt to driving on? The left side. Where was the steering wheel located in the car they rented? On the opposite side. Why was driving a challenge for Lucy and Max in Japan? because they were not used to driving on the left side of the road with the steering wheel on the opposite side. Each wrong turn on their drive became an opportunity to explore, from serene landscapes to quaint towns, meeting locals who warmly helped them find their way. Did every wrong turn on their drive lead to a negative experience? No, each wrong turn became an opportunity to explore. What did Lucy and Max discover because of their wrong turns? Serene landscapes and quaint towns. Who did Lucy and Max meet during their drive? Locals who warmly helped them find their way. 
How did the locals react when they met Lucy and Max? They warmly helped them. What was the outcome of the wrong turns Lucy and Max made while driving? They explored new areas and met helpful locals. This trip to Japan wasn't just about visiting a new place, it was a journey of discovery, learning, and growth. Was the trip to Japan only about visiting a new place for Lucy and Max? No, it was more than that. What was the trip to Japan about for Lucy and Max? It was a journey of discovery, learning, and growth. Why was the trip to Japan significant for Lucy and Max? Because it involved discovery, learning, and personal growth. What did Lucy and Max experience besides just visiting a new place in Japan? They experienced discovery, learning, and growth. In what ways did Lucy and Max benefit from their trip to Japan? They gained experiences in discovery, learning, and personal growth. Lucy and Max embraced every challenge, whether it was understanding a new culture or navigating unknown streets. Did Lucy and Max avoid or embrace the challenges they encountered? They embraced the challenges. What types of challenges did Lucy and Max face? Understanding a new culture and navigating unknown streets. How did Lucy and Max respond to the challenges of understanding a new culture? They embraced the challenge. What was Lucy and Max's attitude towards navigating unknown streets? They embraced it as a challenge. Why was their attitude important to their experience in Japan? Because embracing challenges helped them enjoy and learn from their experiences. Their adventure in Japan taught them the beauty of exploration, the importance of open mindedness, and the joy of embracing life's unexpected turns. What did Lucy and Max learn from their adventure in Japan? The beauty of exploration, the importance of open mindedness, and the joy of embracing life's unexpected turns. Did their adventure in Japan teach them about the beauty of exploration? Yes, it did. What is one thing that their adventure in Japan taught Lucy and Max? The importance of being open minded. How did Lucy and Max feel about the unexpected turns in their journey? They found joy in embracing them. Why was their adventure in Japan more than just a trip? Because it taught them valuable lessons about exploration, open mindedness, and enjoying life's surprises.